So now that I am filming this video, this means that we will be counting down my top 10 minifigures of the year, which, well, I've literally just spent the majority of the day editing the top 10 sets. So this really means the year is wrapping up. It's Wednesday the 29th, and we will be taking a look at my top 10 favorite minifigures of the the year which some of these have actually appeared and talked about in yesterday's video but i did cut about 10 minutes out of that at least so yeah that's definitely something to add for this one so yeah we have got some really awesome minifigures to talk about this year they've had some incredible minifigures we've had some really awesome minifigures that really got ruined like for example captain america in his stealth suit the wonder from the endgame battle basically all the minifigures in the endgame battle could have been done a lot better but yeah, it's definitely been an interesting year because then on the other hand, we've had some of the best Lego minifigures of all time. For example, spot number one, two, three, and four are some of the best detailed minifigures of all time. Honestly, they are absolutely fantastic. So starting off at number 10, we have got Prince Kalmar from Ninjago Season 15, aka Seabound or King Kalmar as he later comes. For detailing, he has a new leg piece and head piece for like the tentacles and the squid attire. And the fact, like I said, I always wanted an underwater season for Ninjago. It was just really cool to see them do a squid villain which i guess in hindsight was kind of a obvious choice for like a villain but still absolutely incredible and yeah this minifigure is just absolutely fantastic what a great minifigure so then coming in at number nine we have the winnie the pooh minifigure this is quite a nostalgic character for me my lego room actually originally used to be my bedroom and i used to have like stickers and quite a lot of theme or in fact it was a winnie the pooh bedroom theme so that was really really cool to see so yeah the winnie the pooh minifigure is absolutely fantastic i think the printing just everything about this figure is really good the head mold everything is absolutely fantastic then coming in at number nine we have got golden dumbledore what can i say this figure is absolutely fantastic out of all the golden harry potter minifigures i think this is the best one it just looks absolutely fantastic the beard piece the face just everything about it i like the fact that they've given him i guess not a bit more but that's just what dumbledore has like the other ones seem a bit more basic and standard where he really just does stand out sort of like hagrid but i think for me just all the different i don't know all the different like shapes i guess because of the beard and everything really makes the figure pop so yeah the golden dumbledore is honestly just such fantastic minifigure though can i just say all of the golden figures from harry potter have been really awesome for the 20th anniversary then coming in at number seven we've got golden woo which again can i just pay respects to the other ninjago minifigures they are all really awesome but the golden woo i just really like which the fans they gave him a golden face i really like the look of that i think that was a really really neat idea i think it looks fantastic and the figure overall looks really good because to me i don't like how inconsistent the helmets are my problem is when i look at the golden figures i don't think the more i think about it the more i would have preferred the old original hoods i definitely think they could have been done better i think they should have had their old like the printing that says ninjago on the back then he should have had their old hoods and they all should have been basically based off their first outfit so lloyd would have been season two and nia would have been her season five minifigure outfit so that definitely would have been really cool but still nevertheless the woo minifigure is absolutely fantastic i love the printing just everything about it is absolutely incredible and then coming in at number six we have got the merged water one with water i don't really know we don't really have a proper term the lego calls it nrg but this is the water infused version of Nia, where she basically becomes one with the sea. Let's call it that. Sorry, one with the sea. And yeah, that figure is absolutely incredible. It uses the hidden side leg piece to kind of add some water. Then they have the back parts from the outriders with all the arms of water. It looks absolutely fantastic. She's just such a good mini figure. And what stops this figure from getting higher is the fact that she has the inaccurate hair piece. I know I try not to complain about that as much, but still it really bugs me and I cannot get that out of my mind. And that hair piece seriously should have been used for the island suits, but still that is such a fantastic mini figure and I love all the blues and everything. And again, water's my favorite element. So that is really awesome. Then coming in a little bit more sleepily at number five, we have got Eeyore. When I heard we was getting a Lego Eeyore and I saw it, I was just like, yes, it was one of those things that I never knew I wanted in my life, but I wanted a Lego Eeyore. It, honestly, he was just such an incredible minifigure. I really liked the figure. And also growing up, I had this massive Eeyore teddy that used to be bigger than me and it actually wasn't. It was my mum and my aunts when it sort of went through the generations though it skipped my cousin. So that's kind of a bit weird when I think about it. But yeah, it is honestly just such an incredible mini figure like when i look at the eat figure i just think wow it's just really cool i really hope we get the standing up version with owl and rabbit and the other little kid at some point that'd be really awesome but yeah the eat or minifigure i just think are oh, so awesome like honestly such fantastic minifigure and then marching her way on into spot number four we have captain carter of course from marvel what if episode one and this 
is an absolute incredible minifigure. Lego really went to town. They gave us our first Hayley Atwell face print, so that's really cool for Peggy Carter. They gave us a hairpiece, which is absolutely fantastic. So two massive wins there. Then they gave us this brand new body print, which is fantastic. Arm printing, which can be used for other Captain America minifigures, as well as the leg printing, which could be kind of used for other Captain America minifigures, as we don't have accurate legs, but this is clear, at least a lot better. And yeah, this minifigure is absolutely incredible. The shield is really nice. The test rank, I think it's actually grown on me. I think a one by one definitely would have been better on the top, but still, it's a really, really good minifigure. And the side leg printing is absolutely fantastic. It's just one of those minifigures that Lego have really done well. Like, they absolutely knocked it out of the park. Then coming in at number three, we have the Mandalorian. Wow, what an incredible minifigure this is. And can I just say what an incredible show it is? And I just finished Book, uh, Book of Boba episode one today. Great show. This, honestly, Mandalorian minifigure is fantastic. Lego normally don't put this much effort in, but they saw the fact that he's going to be in quite a lot of, set of, lot of sets, which I really hope Lego take advice when they got the same character like Sean Chi that is in two sets. They still really should put all the effort into it. And they really did that with Mando. He's got arm printing, he's got leg printing, he's body printing. He looks absolutely fantastic. He has like the little mud horn signet on his arm. He just looks absolutely incredible. Just looking at that minifigure, it's absolutely incredible. The helmet, it definitely could be improved a little bit, but still, I really like the helmet. Also, the gun there looks pretty cool. But then my one issue with the minifigures, the fact that he does not have a face print, that would have been okay. If we really have a look at the timeline, the episode before Christmas 2020, of course, we saw his face again. We saw Luke. Everything went incredible. We then, since then, we have had four sets. One of them got released in January. I get that. But the in Cruiser and the Boba Fett Starship, which was released in August, and the one that was released in September, which, of course, was the Forge, they easily could have included his face print and the one coming up here in January, which actually is dark brown. Just an error on the box and images. Again, could have had his face print. So, to me, it is a massive disappointment. But... I believe that he will be showing it more. So I think I had read something that somewhere that Pedro Pedro Pascal, who plays Man, who plays Manda, I think he does a fantastic job. Says he wants to show his face more, which is understandable. So yeah, we definitely most probably will get one soon. That that is in the near future. So yeah, that is an incredible minifigure. And then swinging on into spot number two, we have Zombie Hunter Spidey, which this is one of the best Lego minifigures of all time. Can I just say the reason this is not over the number one? I prefer the character here, Spider Man one my favorite characters but of course we've had quite a lot of them and the detail is nearly there but not as good as number one but the minifigure is absolutely incredible and this is the best spider-man we've ever had he's got arm he's got arm printing and he's actually like properly red it's got enough paint on it the body printing and the leg printing the face everything is fantastic and the best thing is you get a peter parker face print and you can make Four versions of this figure is absolutely incredible because if you take the cape off and with the mask on, that's two and vice versa. So that is just really incredible. And that's what I've done. I've got four of them. It is incredible. The printing just looks great. And this is the homecoming suit. Basically, they had to make it a little bit different because the other original suit used in the movie is co-owned by Sony and Marvel. So for them, they had to just make a couple of changes to get around that. So that is that. So yeah, this mini figure is incredible. Like I said, the Tom Holland face print exclusive. Absolutely fantastic i hope we get to see that again with another set especially for no way home got a few ideas for that if you want to see a set's video for that and it does have a web piece which is really awesome and then flying their way into spot number one is the new captain america sam wilson finally taking on the mantle wow this minifigure originally when we got this list it was like wow i really hope he gets a new suit but lego i actually read an article apparently lego got to go on the set and actually have a look at the costume so i'm not sure if they actually got to see anthony mackie wearing it or whatever but whatever they i presume that they got to see this suit in real life because the printing is beyond out of just beyond anything feet printing leg printing arm printing wing printing left wing printing back front everywhere you look at this minifigure there is intricate little details it is absolutely fantastic they made a new wing mold the hair piece looks a bit jarring but it still works fine i think it's definitely an improvement what they've done with the hair piece like for finn so it's definitely an improvement here for sam wilson and yes, this minifigure is one of the best minifigures. It's the best of the year. And I currently think that this is the best detailed minifigure of all time. It absolutely is fantastic. Just looking at this minifigure, I'm like, oh, I love it. It's so cool. I did get two of these again. So I can wings off and wings on. So those 
to my top 10 minifigures of the year, there are still so many I could have gone for. Looking at it, we've got Bugs Bunny, Wiley O, Cody, everyone you pronounce it, we've got Roadrunner, we have Daredevil, like I said, we've got Blade, we've got Punisher. There are so many minifigures that I could have cho chosen, but these are the best ones sort of for nostalgia detail and everything about it so thank you all for watching this video what do you think of these figures leave your thoughts in the comment section down below and until the next video i'll see you there bye for now